Pockets are usually on the left side of shirts because most people are right-handed. Is this a myth or a fact? This is actually true. Many products favor the righties. Left-handed people will relate to this on so many levels. Let's say public transport. Have you ever noticed that the scanner at stations is typically on the right side? Household equipment and devices are one more example. Scissors, tweezers, bottle openers, and many other kitchen and household appliances are designed with right-handed people in mind. The same goes for shirt pockets. While some people use both hands equally and others change their hand preference between tasks, overall, most people are right-handed. A study has revealed that 75% to 90% of the world's population are right-handed and 10% are left-handed. This means it's more convenient for most people to have pockets on the left side than on the right side of their garments. Try it out for yourself. Your elbow kind of folds when you try to reach into the pocket on the right side. Whereas on the left side, your elbow makes an arc shape, which makes it easier to put things inside the pocket and take them out. Eating more protein leads to having bigger muscles. What do you think about this, bodybuilders? Myth or fact? This is a myth. It's true that eating protein is essential for building bigger muscles. I mean, proteins are building blocks of your body. And yet, eating more than you need is unnecessary. Everyone should drink 8 glasses of water a day. Do you think this is a myth or a fact? This is a myth, so don't blame yourself for drinking less water than recommended. 8 glasses are not a magic number. Hydration needs differ from one person to another. How much water you should drink every day depends on your activity and exercise level. The temperature of the place where you live affects this number too. If you live in a hot area, you sweat more and need to drink more water. Soup, coffee, tea, fruits, and other things you eat daily also contain water. Carrots are high in sugar, so you should avoid eating them. If this is true, we should warn bunnies. Any guesses? Fact or myth? It's a myth. Carrots are about 85% water. One pound of cooked carrots only contains three teaspoons of sugar. Compared to the amount of sugar in desserts, this is nothing. Plus, carrots are high in phytochemicals, and eating them can help lower blood sugar. Medieval people believed in flat earth. Is this a myth or a fact? Obviously, flat earth is a myth. But so is the history built around this myth. You can't say that at those times. The whole world was skeptical about Earth's spherical shape. Even everyday visible things prove that. For example, medieval people could see that the twilight glow during sunrise and sunset formed an arc over the horizon. Vikings wore horned helmets. Is this a myth or fact? The well-known image of a Viking warrior is almost always completed with a horned helmet. But in reality, there are no horns. There's no evidence that Viking helmets were horned. Detox juices cleanse your body. Is this a fact or a myth? It's a myth. Detoxification doesn't work that way. Your internal organs are responsible for the process of cleansing the spleen, liver, kidneys, especially the liver. Your body is always in a natural state of cleansing itself. A person doesn't need to drink juices for detoxification. Nuts are junk food. Any thoughts? Myth or fact? You're right, this is a myth. Nuts are full of healthy fats. They're good for your heart and other organs. The average American throws away about 82 pounds of textile waste per year. Is this a fact or myth? Fact! Imagine all that waste. When someone throws their clothes away, they don't disappear into thin air. These items most likely reach landfills as their final destination. Donating clothes and selling them in second-hand stores are a much better option. Now, you've probably heard about life-saving laundry tricks that are said to make your clothes super clean and as good as they were on day one. What if those laundry tips are actually myths? I got three of them lined up for you. Shirts should be buttoned when you put them in the laundry. Is it true or not? This is a myth. You'd better keep zippers closed to keep their teeth from catching the fabric of other clothes. But fastening the buttons of a shirt can expand the button net and the button hole. In the long term, buttons will start slipping out of place. Washing clothes in hot water is the most effective way to clean them. 
Is this a myth or a fact? That's another laundry myth. You want to rid your clothes of germs, yet hot water alone won't be enough for this. Nowadays, many detergents can clean clothes in cold or warm water. You should remove stains from the face of the fabric. Is it true? Most people apply water and soap to the stain, starting from the front side of the fabric. But that's not the best option. A much better way is to start from the back. The stain can go deeper if you treat it from the front. Try to make the stain move up to the surface rather than push it inside. Listening to music is an effective tool for learning languages. Is it a myth or fact? It's a fact! Scientists say listening to a song and humming along can help you learn a language. Most people struggle to learn grammar, yet in our daily lives, we don't always follow grammar rules. Songs can help you pick up informal expressions. Scientists have also concluded that music can help you remember new words and add them to your vocabulary. Let me give you an example. It's from your first year at school. Yep, the alphabet song. Do you ever feel you've been watched and discovered that you're right? Well, that spider sense like feeling is called gaze detection. Your brain senses when someone is staring at you. Research explains this as a sort of defense mechanism. A direct gaze can be a symbol of dominance and that can be a potential threat. Humans evolved with this feeling in time. Strangely, it works when the person looks right at you. If their gaze is off just a few degrees to the left or right of you, your brain won't react this way. What about the urge to rewatch your favorite movies or listen to your songs over and over? You're not alone. This habit has some benefits for your mental health. This behavior eases your mind. When people feel overwhelmed, they'll have less self control and be less motivated to complete hard tasks. You are drawn into the office's first season again because when you watch, listen, or do something familiar, you don't have to spend the effort to monitor what you're thinking. So, it's a good way to have a quick mental reset. Here's another feeling. Imagine you're enjoying the sunset on a terrace or at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Out of nowhere, your inner voice whispers, What if I jump? This isn't coming from a darker state. You know, it's just sort of a feeling that appears when you're high up. There is a name for this. The call of the void or the high place phenomenon is a relatively new research topic, but more studies are on the way. Jim Carrey's great performance in The Truman Show is surely remembered. Did you know that The Truman Show delusion is an actual thing? The phenomenon is an issue related to cognitive neuropsychiatry. People with this delusion believe that they're being filmed and that the footage will be broadcasted for entertainment. There was a time when aluminum was more precious than gold. I know, it's hard to believe. We now wrap our sandwiches on this everyday item. If we go back to the 19th century, we would see aluminum as a hard to get element because it was literally hard to obtain until innovators found a way to extract it on large industrial scales. Then, the reign of aluminum was over. There are stories about the French ruler Napoleon III having an aluminum cutlery set that he served food to his special guests. We might as well talk about a time traveler's party held in 2009. The theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking invited time travelers to hang out. There was a huge banner hung up with the words, Welcome, time travelers. No one showed up. But maybe travelers had prior engagements, and that's why they didn't attend the party. I swear I'm not crying because no one showed up to that awesome party. I was just cutting an onion. Why do we burst into tears when we chop onions? Because of a particular enzyme. Is there a solution? Next time, get some damp paper towel and put it on the cutting board next to the onion. The acidity that comes from the enzyme will go towards the wet paper instead of your eyes. The ancient Egyptian civil calendar was quite similar to the one we use now. They had 365 days divided into 12 months. But instead of spreading a 31st to some months, they would add those extra days to the end of the year. Now, let's turn our cameras to the animal kingdom again. Is there a benefit for zebras to have their fascinating pattern? Scientists asked this question too and experimented. They dressed up horses with zebra look-alike coats. The coat was covering the whole body of the horses but their heads. It turns out that zebra patterns repel flies. 
scientists observe that flies only go for the heads of the animals and stay away from the horse bodies. Ants are known as hard-working animals, even in the tails. That's got a legit reflection in real life. They can carry up to 20 times more weight than their own body weight. These insects have other noble qualities too. If an ant gets seriously injured, it'll refuse treatment from the colony's paramedic ant. The ant knows that it can't make it, so instead of wasting the colony's resources, this ant forces the paramedic ant to carry on without it. Cars these days aren't just adapted for the cold season. They come with cool features to help out during the summer months, too. I'm talking about those neat sun visors. Check your car to see if it has this added bonus feature. We know they twist to help the driver out even when they're not driving directly toward sunlight. Some visors can also extend, so they can provide shade to a larger area. If yours can't extend, there's a simple solution. Buy a sun visor extender. You can even find them online. They work by being attached to your existing sun visors or the windows for better shade coverage and visibility. Now, your car might have another hidden feature. Well, it's technically not in the car, but in its tires. These days, some cars come equipped with foam-filled tires. They were created to fix the problem of air-filled ones that often went flat. Why? Well, because foam-filled tires have many of the same benefits as air-filled tires without the danger of leaks. Regular air-filled tires can sometimes lose air over time, even if there hasn't been any damage. In most cars with this feature, the tires are not completely filled with either foam or air. They have a mix of both. A bonus of these modern tires is that they make the cars quieter. Generally, electric cars make less noise, but because of that foam, they end up being as quiet as a cat. Some people like the fact that they're quiet, while others prefer that classic screeching or rumbling that vehicles make. But even people who like the sound of regular engines might like the quietness of these new models because they are still very fast. Hey, I drive one, and it's fun! You might have stumbled upon a button called AEB. It stands for Automatic Emergency Braking, and it's a feature that uses sensors to detect if a collision is going to happen really soon. When activated, it will automatically apply the brakes to try and prevent something bad from happening, or make it less severe. There are two types of AEB, one that only works at slow speeds and one that works at all speeds. If the car can't be stopped completely, the AEB system will try to slow it down as much as possible to reduce the impact. Many cars now have systems that can warn you if someone is walking in front of you and can even automatically stop the vehicle to prevent an accident. These systems use special sensors that can also detect bicycles and animals. However, a study found that these systems don't always work well, especially at night. Even if your car comes equipped with this added feature, it's crucial to always pay attention while driving and not rely solely on these systems. A little thing called Lane Centering Assist helps you stay in the middle of your lane when you're driving on the highway. It's not a replacement for paying attention to the road either, but it can help guide you through gentle curves. You'll still be in control of the car and can turn the wheel if you want to go in a different direction. Some systems give you a lot of feedback, while others are more subtle. Lane Centering Assist can't handle sharp turns, and in most cars doesn't work if you don't have the cruise control on. What's also cool about this feature is that if it senses you've removed your hands from the wheel, it'll give you the warning to return to the correct driving position. A lot of accidents can happen when you're reversing your car, like out of the supermarket parking lot. Parking sensors can help prevent these things from happening by using radar or sound to detect things that the driver might not see from his position. These sensors will make a noise or show a warning on the car's screen to let the driver know something is there, like another car or a person passing by. If you're planning to have a road trip, you know how hard it is to adapt to various speed limits throughout the country. Traffic sign recognition is a technology that can help with that. 
It allows you to know what the speed limit is on the road you're driving on. It uses a camera to take pictures of traffic signs and display them on a screen in your car. This can be helpful if the signs are hard to see or if you miss them while driving. Some cars with this technology can even change their speed automatically based on the signs they see. This technology is mostly found in luxury cars, but it is becoming more common in other types of cars too. The AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety has made studies that show up to 6,000 drivers per year have bad accidents simply because they were too tired. Sure, I would like my car to come with building coffee makers or showers to keep me awake on those long days driving, but some do have systems that can tell when a driver is getting kind of snoozy. These systems monitor the movements you make while in the driver's seat. It looks at things like how you turn the steering wheel around and move the car. If it senses you're a bit too tired to move on, it'll make a noise and show a message on the dashboard urging you to take a break. Some of these systems even show a picture of a coffee cup to remind you to stop at the next gas station for a refreshing beverage. Might save your life, too. Is this safe to eat? We sometimes see strange dots on our potatoes and wonder if we should just throw them away. Here are 10 eat or toss facts. Did you know that every year, 119 billion pounds of food is wasted only in the United States? To put it in perspective, this number means nearly 40% of all food in America is wasted. People throw away food if they don't have confidence in the ingredients. They're being cautious and it makes sense, but what if the food is safe to eat and only looks weird? The first item on the list is beef. When it comes to meat, people naturally get extra cautious. Imagine you buy some raw beef in the store. Later on, you realize it's got some brown spots. If you toss it immediately, hear me out. This is normal. In fact, you can see brown layers also inside the beef. Bright red color equals fresh meat, huh? Not necessarily. When the meat is first cut, it's maroon. If the meat is quickly vacuum packaged, it will keep that shade. But if the meat is exposed to air for like 15 minutes, then oxygen will cause a change in the look to red. The redness can turn brown when the biochemical reaction starts. This can take a few hours. Workers at the grocery stores grind the meat several times a day to achieve that bright red color because they know consumers are cautious about maroon looking beef. If the beef is wrapped in an oxygen permeable plastic, it turns bright red after exposure to oxygen. As long as the meat smells and feels fresh, and if it's been stored properly, it should be safe to eat. Have you ever come across dark lines under a shrimp shell? This one has a similar story to beef. Black lines on your shrimp's flesh are related to a natural phenomenon. They gradually occur after shrimps are taken from the water. Meat is exposed to oxygen, and the blackness gets more visible over time. Here also, the pattern of the animal itself can be a factor. These black lines can be a naturally occurring discoloration on the shrimp. Think of cats. They also have different color patterns, but they're the same in terms of species. Next time, you can conduct a mini experiment in your kitchen. Put a couple of shrimps side by side and observe the mild differences in the shrimp's color patterns. Shrimp will have a distinct bad odor when it's no longer edible, so if it smells and tastes fresh, don't toss it. Should you eat moldy yogurt? That green substance on the surface doesn't look appealing at all, but if you scoop it out, you seem to have clean yogurt underneath. The short answer is toss it. The mold could be seen on the top only, but it has probably gone deep, not to mention that it'll taste bad. Many molds are harmless, but some produce toxic substances. Green mold is a type of penicillium. Does this word sound familiar? That's the same type of mold used in the antibiotic penicillin. Don't get too excited. Eating moldy yogurt won't magically cure bacterial infections. It only spoils your dairy product. In 2013, there was an outbreak related to one line of yogurts. The company handed the products to stores as usual. After some time, they received customer complaints. They said that the yogurt looked like yogurt soup and tasted really old. Turns out that a type of fungus probably released some carbon dioxide. It made the product fizzy and bloating. Ugh. 
The company and another independent scientist both said that this fungus in question wasn't usually harmful to people. Yet, more than 200 people reported becoming affected by it. So, these sorts of things can still happen. You should trust your spidey sense. If you've ever been lucky enough to see some mold in a freshly opened package, reach out to the manufacturer. You'll potentially save others from facing the same scenery by notifying the company about a systemic issue and preventing potential future product waste. Plus, the company probably wants to make amends and either reimburse your sad yogurt with a happy one, or better, they'll give you coupons for free products. Why do avocados sometimes have brown dots inside? Technically, it's edible, but you might not want to eat it. Avocados are a source of many vitamins like C, E, K, and B6, as well as healthy stuff like magnesium, potassium, and more. The avocado works hard to become such a health storage. Nutrients, water, and sugars wander around this fruit. Yes, technically, avocado is classified as a fruit. Anyway, avocados have their own transport channels, like veins. These channels are normally invisible to us. Until something goes out of the ordinary, the avocado may be stored in too cold temperatures for a longer time than it should. As a result, the tissue cells might be weakened and start to deteriorate. Experts say that after the fruit is harvested, if it stays in the refrigerator for a few weeks before you buy it, vascular browning can occur. This phenomenon becomes visible after you keep the avocado at room temperature for a few days. Don't be hard on yourself, it's not because of you. So should you eat it or toss it? You can eat the brown dotted avocados, but you may want to taste them first. They might not taste good compared to a regular one. Now let's test you. Are there more trees on Earth or stars in the Milky Way? If your answer is stars, sorry, you're wrong. According to scientists' estimations, there are up to 100 billion stars in our galaxy and about 3 trillion trees on Earth. Now that's impressive. Pluto still hasn't made a complete orbit since it was discovered. And now imagine that it was found back in 1930. It takes about 248 years for Pluto to make a full orbit around the Sun. By the way, Mercury is the fastest. It takes only about 88 days for this planet to make a full trip. However, Pluto will complete its first full orbit since its discovery in 2178. I can't wait. One more fun fact about planets. The dwarf planet Haumea has a very peculiar shape. It looks exactly like a potato. It's about the same size as Pluto and has rings similar to those Saturn has. If you ever want to find it, it's located beyond the orbit of Neptune. Nachos aren't some ancient Mexican food. They were invented less than 100 years ago. Ignacio Anya, nicknamed Nacho, is said to have created this dish in the 1940s. There's a nice story behind nachos. A regular customer got really hungry and asked if Ignacio could bring her and her three friends something different that day. He saw how hungry the ladies were and decided to cook something quick for them. He had to improvise using available ingredients, so he put some tortillas, grated loads of cheese on top of them, and heated the dish from above. To make the dish more savory, he added some jalapeno peppers on top. Mamie Finan, that very regular customer, asked what the name of the unusual snack was. Ignacio didn't think long and said the name was Nacho Special. Oranges aren't necessarily orange. If grown in subtropical regions, the climate isn't cold enough to break down the chlorophyll, so the fruit peel stays yellow or greenish. Such oranges usually get treated with ethylene gas that can help turn the oranges orange. Orange you impressed with that? Okay, it's time for a little riddle for you. What's common between peanut butter and an engagement ring? Both of them contain diamonds! Arr, arr. Scientists have learned how to turn peanut butter into diamonds. They extracted the oxygen from CO2. They got the carbon and then put it under intense pressure. And in the end, they got diamonds. In a GIF, I suppose. Pufferfish, also known as blowfish, are famous for two things. It's clumsy and it can literally turn into a sort of a balloon. Blowing themselves up helps them survive in the wild. They are inedible when swollen. Well, they're not entirely inedible even when they're deflated. Their poison is over a thousand times more toxic than cyanide. Don't count on antidotes, they just don't exist. Or probably, we need more time to find one. Not only can people become knights, but penguins can do that too. 
There's one living in Edinburgh, and it was granted knighthood back in 2008. Meet Nils Olaf III, the mascot and colonel-in-chief of the Norwegian King's Guard. So, what size of shoes do you wear? I bet it's way smaller than the size the Statue of Liberty wears. No statue needs shoes, but if the Statue of Liberty wanted to grab a pair of new sneakers, she'd need to look for size 879. No surprise here, she is 151 feet tall. These are our muscles that can cause goosebumps. These tiny fan-shaped muscles are called erector pili, and we have them at the base of every hair follicle. Whenever it's cold, they get contracted, which makes our hairs literally stand up, creating goosebumps. You may think you're not an athlete, but if you've ironed your clothes in very uncomfortable locations at least once, you already are. Well, sort of. Extreme ironing is an extreme sport where people take ironing boards to very unexpected places, such as forests, canoes, or mountains, and iron the clothes there. Some do that even on the top of bronze statues or underwater. And yeah, there are even official championships. Haven't these people heard of permanent press? Rap battles aren't something that appeared recently. In medieval England, there was something called flighting, which was very much like contemporary rap battles. It was quite popular in the 15th and 16th centuries, when two opponents mocked each other in an improvised battle. Tongue map says we have different parts for different tastes. Well, not really. There are individual taste buds that sense certain flavors more than they do with some others, but it doesn't mean one area can taste sweet better than the other. Studies show that all mouth areas have taste buds sensitive to all tastes. Chameleons don't change colors because they want to match their surroundings. That would probably be a very tiring thing to do. In reality, some other things, like mood, temperature, or the amount of light they get, affect their color. When chameleons relax and stretch cells, crystals that are inside of them are affected by the light. These reptiles use crystals to communicate with each other. So, for example, darker shades show that they're not in such a good mood. It's more like they feel kind of grumpy. Ah, beware the grumpy chameleon. Turkeys can blush just like people do. It works the same way. They blush when angry, excited, or even feel bad. You can see the skin on their necks and heads turn red. Opossums don't really sleep while hanging by their tails. You see that in cartoons and some photos, but in general, they don't. Their tails are strong, so these animals can grip branches and hold their weight, but only for shorter periods. Adults are really too heavy to stay in this position for too long, so they wouldn't get too much rest. So I could say, hanging by their tail overnight is sort of impossible. The largest lollipop ever created goes back to 2012, when a Californian candy manufacturer made a staggering chocolate-flavored one. It weighed more than 7,000 pounds and stood proud at nearly 5 feet tall. And if we take the stick into consideration too, this huge lollipop was over 11 feet tall. One of the most famous lollipop brands in the world is Chupa Chups. Did you know this brand's logo has a very famous name behind it? It was that of none other than Salvador Dali himself, the famous surrealist artist. The company approached him in 1969 to design the logo, and he came up with a distinguishing design that we know and love which has the Chupa Chups name incorporated into a brightly colored daisy shape. The famous painter also came up with the idea that the logo should be placed on top of the candy instead of on the side. Why? So that you can always see it perfectly without any of the wrinkles that are often associated with candy packaging. Smart, right? More so, this brand is also associated with candies we enjoy in the most uncommon places. A story goes that a Chupa Chups was the first lollipop to be eaten in space. That was back in 1995, when an astronaut brought a Chupa Chups to the space station, officially making it the first lollipop to be consumed in a zero-gravity environment. Hmm, I wonder if it tasted any different. There's a Chupa Chups under the sea, too, but it's not actually what you think. It's not the easiest thing in the world to enjoy a lolly underwater, right? But as they were advancing into an expedition to the Wardall Sea in the Antarctic Ocean back in 2000, a group of scientists stumbled upon a weird-looking sea sponge. It had a round-shaped head and was surprisingly similar to a lollipop. Obviously, it was given an appropriate name. 
The short version was S. Chupachups. If you'll ever search for pictures of these creatures, they look like underwater lollipops scattered on the bottom of the seabed. Now, while we're on the subject of shape, ever wondered why lollipop sticks have that square hole featured in the plastic design? It actually has to do with the manufacturing process. When produced, the candy is melted into the stick. This ensures that the head of the lollipop stays firmly attached to its corresponding stick so that it doesn't come loose and end up falling off. Ooh, what a pity! Another reason is more of a safety feature, so the lollipop stick doesn't become a choking hazard if swallowed by accident. Since it does allow air to go through, there's still some breathing room should it ever get stuck somewhere unfortunate. These days, the company Tootsie Roll has become the largest manufacturer of lollipops. They make over 16 million candies each and every day. As for the Dum Dum lollipops, they got their name from their inventor. He wanted a name that was easy to pronounce and remember by the younger generation, the main demographic for the product. How about the Dum Dum mystery flavor? Is it actually that mysterious? Nah, it's actually a pretty straightforward recipe. They make it when one batch of flavor is running out and the next one is beginning. So the flavor comes out of random combinations of two different tastes, whatever they may be. But what does the famous writer Charles Dickens have to do with the lollipop? Well, it turns out that in the modern world, this name first appeared in one of his novels. That was back in the 1800s. Lollipops aren't all fun and games. Some of them are even used to cure people. They are especially handy for young ones who find it difficult to deal with traditional versions. But some of those lollipops are strictly for adults. If you're a big fan of this sweet treat, you might want to prepare for a nice celebration on the 20th of July each year. That's when people in America celebrate National Lollipop Day. It's common for people to give each other lollies during this day. Some stores even launch unique lines for this occasion and also put their best products on display. The lollipop has some neat world records attached to it, too. Like the longest chain of people licking lollipops, which featured a mind-boggling 12,831 individuals. They put the event together in Valladolid, Spain, back in September of 2008. And for people looking for something fancier, you should know that the world's most expensive lollipop comes with a hefty price of over $10,000. It's not one single lollipop per se, but a chair made with 60 pounds worth of confectioner sugar. Now, there are things about nature that you know for sure. Or don't you? Let's check how much you know about the incredible world we live in. How many of the 14 points will you guess? Let us know! The Great Pyramid of Giza was built when mammoths still roamed the Earth. Myth or fact? It's actually a fact. The most famous pyramid in the world had been constructed about 500 years before woolly mammoths went extinct, approximately 4,000 years ago. Their last known habitat was the cold and deserted Wrangell Island in the Arctic Sea, which might not have been as cold then as it is today. There are more trees on Earth than stars in the Milky Way. Is it myth or fact? It's a fact. Scientists used to believe there were about 4 billion trees on our planet. But more recent studies have shown that there are over 3 trillion of them, making it 420 trees per person. As for the stars in our galaxy, there are only about 100 billion, which is 30 times fewer than the trees on Earth alone. The trees you see are all individual ones, myth or fact. This is false. In fact, 90% of the trees on Earth are interconnected by mycelium filaments. They send warning signals when in danger and exchange nutrients through them. It's kind of like the underground internet. Also, there are organisms like Pando, for example, which is the largest single living being on the planet. It looks like a dense forest of quaking aspens. In fact, it's basically a single giant tree, with its roots being interconnected underground. 
We drink the same water dinosaurs used to drink hundreds of millions of years ago. Myth or fact? Actually, it is! Only a small portion of the water on our planet has evaporated for good. The rest of it is constantly renewed. So, mammoths, dinosaurs, and whatever came before them billions of years ago drank and swam in the same water we see today. Not to mention what else they did in the water. Unfortunately, the water doesn't keep information about those ancient creatures for us to find out more about them. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. Are you willing to bet on that? Myth or fact? If you aren't, good for you. Lightning may strike the very same spot as many times as it wants. It might seem random, but the electrical discharge from the sky is pulled toward the tallest objects in the thunderstorm area. Also, the material this object is made of matters too. It's by no chance that lightning rods on buildings are mostly made of copper and aluminum alloys. These metals are some of the most conductive materials, so they pull lightning very efficiently. All deserts are hot. Now this one's easy, right? Myth or fact? If you guess it's a myth, then right you are. Deserts are qualified not for their temperature, but for the presence or absence of growth and life in them. The most well-known desert is the Sahara, of course, and it is indeed very hot. The actual largest desert in the world is Antarctica, which is almost twice the size of the Sahara Desert. And you wouldn't call it even lukewarm. It's a polar desert, and there are several others on our planet. For example, Greenland. There's enough gold underground to cover the entire planet in a thick layer. Would you believe that? Well, you should, because it's true. Since 1950, humanity has mined nearly 200,000 tons of gold. If we made a cube out of all this metal, it would be 70 feet high and wide. Recent data from scientists confirm that there are huge reserves of gold in the Earth's core. The metal is enough to cover the whole planet, and people might have gold up to their knees. The problem is, we just can't mine it from there. Hey, I don't mine if you don't. The Moon and Mars are better mapped than the Earth's oceans. Now, this can't be true, can it? Actually, it can. We have a detailed map of the Moon and Mars, although we're still discovering surprises on their surfaces granted. Still, over 80% of the Earth's oceans are unmapped and unexplored. We can't study the oceans properly because of pressure, cold, and lack of light underneath billions of tons of water. The lava is always red. What other color can it be, right? Myth or fact? Myth. Usually lava is really red or orange because it's basically molten rock from the deep bowels of our planet. But there's one volcano in Indonesia whose lava is blue and luminescent. Only at night, though. During the day, it looks normal. No mystery about it, just tons of sulfuric gas. This volcano also has the largest acidic crater lake in the world. The water there is so turquoise, you want to jump in immediately. But you probably guessed you should never do that. The fire on that volcano is also blue, the largest blue fire in the world, rising up to 16 feet high. Ever seen a gas stove burning? Here, the principle is basically the same. There are two reasons plastic bottles have grooves. First, if you're drinking cold water and it's hot outside, you'll see there's a lot of condensation on your bottle. Or maybe if you're playing some sport or working out. Your hands are sweaty, and if a bottle had a smooth surface, it would be more difficult to grip it. So the ridges are there to improve your hand grip. The second reason is that because of these ridges, manufacturers can use thinner plastic. That means they need less material in overall production. And that plastic is still firm enough for the bottle to maintain its shape. 
wooden coat hangers are not just there to look nice. Since they're made of cedar wood, they bring a nice scent to your closet. Plus, they repel bugs. They're also quite firm, so they come in handy for heavy clothes, such as jackets. And it's hard to damage them. So, they'll serve you longer. You may have noticed there's a colored square at the bottom of your toothpaste. These blocks mostly come in blue, red, green, and black. They are some sort of eye marks, since they help manufacturing machines at the assembly line recognize where and when to cut the toothpaste and seal the end of the tube. Some boots have loops at their top and back. Looks like a fashion statement, doesn't it? Or maybe it's something that manufacturers add for fun. But those loops actually have their purpose. With them, you can pull the shoe up when trying to wear it. Plus, you can easily hang them or use the loop for better support for the laces. Confession time! Remember those attachments your vacuum cleaner came with? Did you also put them somewhere aside and never use them again? They're actually pretty helpful when you're cleaning the house because you can use them for particular areas that are sometimes hard to reach with the regular attachment. We all know what the vegetable peeler is for, but besides peeling the skin of carrots or potatoes, you can use it for onions too. It may be faster than doing it with a knife, plus it will save you some onion tears. Some sweatshirts have something pretty specific in the neck area. A V-shaped stitch you can see in the middle of the collar. The ribbed insert, similar to the ribbing at the hem and the sleeves, would allow the owner to put the garment on more easily and it wouldn't even lose shape. The V insert would stretch so a person wearing the sweatshirt could get their head through the neck. Its purpose was also to absorb sweat. In its early versions, sweatshirts had both the back and the front of the collars. Through time, they lost the back one, and this V insert became something decorative since manufacturers started to stitch a V at the collar without using the ribbed material they had added before. Brightly colored squares or circles you see on food packages aren't an indication of vitamins, minerals, or certain flavors that food contains. And nope, it's not some secret code consumers are supposed to crack. It's actually for printing engineers. They're called process control patches or printer's color blocks. During the process of printing the food packaging, manufacturers use those colored blocks to check if the printing ink is correct. They compare the color of blocks they print to make sure the brand they print for has a consistent and recognizable quality all over the world. The majority of printers only use four colors, yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. Some printers have additional colors, such as green, orange, and violet. That's why you sometimes see multiple circles on certain packages. They test each ink color. Margins in notebooks. They're not there as some sort of a guide for taking notes and writing. Someone came up with a potential solution that was supposed to protect the written work from, well, rats. They used to be pretty common residents in people's homes. They are known for their diet, including basically anything, like paper, for example. So, people started adding wide margins as an appetizer that was supposed to keep rats full. This way, they wouldn't want to get to the main dish, the written pages. Suits have a buttonhole close to the top of the lapel. Manufacturers sew it shut so you can't open it without ruining your suit. And when you compare it to the other lapel, you see that one is completely smooth, without any clues. You won't find such an unpartnered buttonhole on a suit jacket only. Camp shirts, pea coats, and some other clothing pieces have them too. And they have to do with the history of lapels. The earliest ones showed up at the beginning of the 19th century. Before this, men mostly wear frocks with high collars. They would button them all the way up to the top. During hot days, they would relax the button stance, turn down the collars, and leave the top button undone. It was a relief from the swelter, plus their folded over laps would be symmetrical at the chest, and today, we recognize that as a lapel. People stopped using that buttonhole after they came up with a lapel, unless it was for some formal occasion. Like, for example, when you wanted to put a flower in there. That's why suit makers left it as a fashion feature. Tea bags. It's pretty easy to guess what they're for, but they come in handy if you have smelly feet after a long day in your shoes. Just pop tea bags, unused of course, in your shoes during the night. 
By the time you wake up, tea bags are going to effectively absorb all the unwanted odors. Binder clips can also have a helpful purpose besides their main one. You can clip your money to keep it together. Same is true for paper clips. If your favorite bracelet broke and you're looking for a way to hold it on, a paper clip might help. Just hook one through each end of the bracelet, twist it tightly, and your bracelet is good to go. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.